and welcome back guys welcome back to another episode of unplug tv <laughs> And welcome back guys, welcome back to another episode of Unplug TV, sunny Australia, winter time. In uh, today's episode I want to show you how to determine the health of your battery if you don't use the PHEV watchdog app. <coughs> there are several methods you can do, I will show you one. So what we need to do is we need to measure the energy which goes into the car while charging from a defined point. How do you get this defined point? Well, you have to discharge the battery as much as possible until the engine starts. I left the car turned on and had the heater running for a while until the engine kicked in. And I checked with the PHEV watchdog and in my case it was exactly at 25% state of charge. So we can say this is 25% so relatively um, precise. So if you use the granny charger which came with the car, the standard EVSE, you can always get one of these power meters here very cheap for 10 euros 20 dollars or wherever from amazon ebay china directly or something they plug into your powerpoint and you plug in the evse here and it shows you the um, used kilowatt hours so this is a good good method to actually determine the um, energy which goes in the car while charging um, i will also compare this meter here with five other meters I have. Yes, five. So first of all we've got the official meter here in the switchboard which measures the power going to this power point outside in the carport. Um, secondly we've got the Sonoff switch here which uses the app and then we have the uh, switchable EVSE here from Evolution which shows us the kilowatt hours in the um, top right hand corner of the display. We've got our power meter here which shows us 235.7 kilowatt hours at the moment so I'm writing this down and then we have as number five the uh, cost meter inside the MMC of the car so you can program your kilowatt hour price in in the car and it shows you after a charge how much it has cost to charge the car and then as number six yeah and number six is the PHEV watchdog app itself it shows us in this line here the seven kilowatt hours this was the last time I fully charged the car from whatever state of charge it was before so this is seven kilowatt hours okay I think I've got everything um, up and running I'll do a little diagram on my whiteboard to show you how everything is set up now we plug in the car and here we go. Charging has started at 11:45. So I guess at this point of time we will have we will, it will take about 5 hours to charge. So it's ramping up and we're charging with 9.3 amps, 2.3 kilowatts. And the car predicts 5 hours and 30 minutes. So one and a half hours longer than the PHEV watchdog. Of course, on this sunny day, we are charging 100% renewable energy in the car. So the car has now fully charged and it took 5 hours and 22 minutes. So the prediction of the car itself with 5 hours and 30 minutes was actually pretty good. Very close. Um, so I have written down all the results of our measurements. So the electronic meter in the switchboard showed us exactly 10.0 kilowatt hours. The Sonoff measured 10.23 kilowatt hours. The um, electronic meter in the PowerPoint measured 10.1 kilowatt hours. The EVSE 10.19 kilowatt hours. The MMCS, so the energy cost meter inside the car showed me 1.9 dollars and I have programmed 20 cents per kilowatt hours which results in 9.5 kilowatt hours and the dog 
the dog shows us some... Um, well, what? Now that's that's a dog. That's not a kangaroo. It's a dog. It's it's supposed to be a dog. Okay, the the actual um the tail may be a little bit um. Well, that's a dog. So the the PHEV watchdog showed us 9.1 kilowatt hours. For these 9.1 kilowatt hours, this is actually the energy going into the battery. So this is excluding charger and cable losses. This is directly measured at the um at the uh, this is directly measured at the current sensor at the battery um this is what daniel told me a while back i hope this is all correct what i'm telling you now so and that's why the actual dog shows us less energy into the battery and um, this is the net energy going into the battery while all the other meters showing the cross energy including all the losses Okay, the battery, 12 kilowatt hours, total capacity. And we know we left the car with 25%. That's when the engine kicked in and we have confirmed with the PHEV watchdog, this is exactly 25% in my case. But if you measure it, it will be very close. It might be 25.3 or 24.5 or something. 25% is a good average you can always uh, assume. So 25% was still in the battery, leaves us with 9 kilowatt hours, which could potentially be recharged into the battery. So this is the maximum the battery could take to charge the full 12 kilowatt hours back to 100%. Okay, and then let's take our EVSE as measurement. So 10.19 kilowatt hours. We have to take away about 15% for that for charger losses inside the car, cable losses and heat losses in the battery. So this one minus 15%, 8.66 kilowatt hours. So this is the energy we have charged into the battery, excluding all the charger losses and you can see we are only half a kilowatt hour away from what the dog shows us. So well. That is what you get. It's not 100% accurate, but this is what you get. It, it is very close. The, the results are very close. Okay, so we have charged 8.66 kilowatt hours into the battery, but in theory, the battery should have taken 9 kilowatt hours from 25 to 100, 9 kilowatt hours. So these 9 kilowatt hours are our 100%. That's the maximum we could charge the battery with. But we've charged only 8.66. So if 9 kilowatt hours is the maximum we can charge and we charged only 8.66, we charged only to 96.24%, which leaves us with a loss. So we have charged 3.76% less into the, into the battery. So and net, now let's have a look at my watchdog app and see we are at, oh, focus, we are at 38.4 ampere hours at this point of time. And when I assume 40 ampere hours, so and then when we assume 40 ampere hours in 100%, 38.4 ampere hours is 96%. So we have a loss of 4% in the battery as per PHEV watchdog, and our calculation is 3.76%. So there you have it. This is our calculation. Minus 4% is already gone out of my battery. And this is without using the PHEV Watchdog app. So if you don't use the PHEV Watchdog app on your phone because you don't like it or you are an iOS user or you are both, well, there's an opportunity for you to measure your state of health of the battery. And potentially because we've got some uh, calculations and assumptions in there, like the um, charger loss. And you probably should measure and record this information over a certain period of time yeah probably do this once a month or once every two months or once every quarter or something and keep the record keep the data and you will see after a while you get a nice view of your battery state of health and you can track how much capacity you have actually lost okay guys so far this video from today showing you how to measure the state of health of your battery without using the PHEV watchdog app and as always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. You stay charged and we will see us again in the next video very soon. 
which gives me some time to actually practice my drawing skills. Okay guys, thanks again, see you then, bye bye.